<laughs> All right, we're gonna put a Michigan stamp on here. This is this is my crinkle edged stamp. So I'm not rolling out a slab and cutting out a shape to stamp. I'm going to squash a ball. And so that'll give the edge a nice crinkly finish. It looks kind of rustic and I think it picks up the glaze nicely. So yeah, the, the size of your ball is going to be dependent on the size of your stamp and it's just gonna be something that you experiment with until you find what works best. So I have to work on like canvas or paper or this, the stamp applique will stick to my board and I want it to stick to my stamp so that I can pick it up and then apply it. So I'm just gonna press down as close to the center as I can and I kind of wiggle it around to give it some even pressure. And then I just kind of rock it back and forth in the directions that I see that it needs to go out a little further. Sorry if my head gets in the way. And that looks about right. Now, make sure that it doesn't come off of the stamp. So I'm gonna keep it like that as I apply it. I'm actually gonna use the stamp as an application tool. So, I'm gonna just score that both ways. And then do the same on my mug. And it doesn't have to be the full size of the stamp. If so long as it grabs in the center, it's not gonna come off. Um, and even if it pulls away a little, the glaze will fill it in. And I just get the applique wet. Not a lot. You don't need to paint it with slip because you just have to wipe off what squishes out of the edges. So then I just, I have my top marked. So I line up that arrow with where the top needs to be, support it from the back and press it in and just kind of give it a wiggle to get those score marks intermeshed. And rock the stamp off. Now you can see it's not attached all the way, so I'm not gonna do this. <laughs> Put my hand in, and then I just curl, curve my hand around, and I, I just, you know, tap it on. So I'm, I'm trying not to distort the image at all, and then I can hold it in place and um, use my inside hand to smooth out, because it, it does indent a little when you press it in. So you smooth that curve back out so that it's not distorted anymore. And there it is. Ah. And you can see it's got a little crinkly edge and it's not always perfect, but that's, that's the aesthetic we're going for. It goes nice with the crumpled up handle at the top. So that's the Michigan mugs.